Since late 2018, the Lower Darling River has contracted to isolated pools. Many of these pools were rapidly drying, leaving native fish at risk of perishing. Concerned community members could not stand by and watch the Lower Darling native fish perish. With the approval of the Department of Primary Industries Fisheries, Ausfish Unlimited volunteers contributed to a program to undertake native fish relocations during summer of 2019 to 2020. The program was supported by landowners who allowed access to remote stations on the Lower Darling from Pinkerry to Patundi Station. Volunteers gave more than 1,300 hours, travelled thousands of kilometres and donated equipment to safely catch and transport native fish to prevent the deaths of hundreds of stranded fish. The volunteers worked in extreme conditions including poor water quality, knee-deep mud, steep banks and heat wave conditions to rescue and relocate precious native fish. The result of its hard work was the relocation of 320 native fish by the Ozfish team to more permanent and viable water sources. These rescued fish were in addition to efforts undertaken by New South Wales Fisheries and other recreational anglers from Broken Hill and Menindi along the Lower Darling, with over 1,500 fish rescued and relocated in total. The biggest fish moved by Ozfish volunteers was a 1.26 metre long Murray Cod, estimated to be more than 25 years old. With much needed flows finally set to return to the Lower Darling, these fish will now survive the terrible drought and will have the opportunity in future to breed and contribute to future native fish recovery. These efforts will benefit generations of Australian fishers. This work would not have been possible without the support from New South Wales DPI Fisheries, Ozfish Unlimited, our great partner BCF and Wentworth Shire Council.